Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a powerhouse dancer who has performed with some of the greats like Missy Elliott, Usher, J Lo, and even the Queen Bee, who celebrated her birthday yesterday. Beyonce. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's for you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Please welcome everybody, Diddy Emma. Yes. yes. Snatch, ladies. You are amazing. Okay. Okay. Amazing. Okay. It okay. so, doesn't so, crack. Yes. yes. It, it doesn't. doesn't. It doesn't. But okay. listen, you call yourself the Nija Peach. Yes. Okay. Where did you, where did that come from? Well, I'm from Nigeria originally. Mm -hmm. I'm a chief in Nigeria, so I get to wear my like chief hat and you know oh, take care of kids yes. and all that. So, but I was I was born in Nigeria and I was raised in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So I'm a Nigerian peach. So Nija Niger is like ah, slang for Nigerian. So Nija like peach. That. Yes, and I, I'm I peach see, flavored. I see yes. peach flavor. I see your hat and I see your hair. Is that from your own, own line? Yes, these are um these are micro twists. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Cute. But I don't have the patience to sit. So mm -hmm. I have a company that um, we make units from uh, like African braids. And ah, I bring it to, uh, yeah, good. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Sit, the sit for that. Yeah, but yeah it I can't. Amazing. No, no, I ain't got it. It's good. Let's talk about Absolutely. your backstory. The backstory mm -hmm. is always the best thing to me. So yes. you were in college. Yes. When you said, yeah, I think I, I, think I got a dream. I think I want to do something else. Yeah. What did your Nigerian parents say about that? Well, they weren't having it. Okay. Mm -hmm. My family was like, hey, you want to do what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got to go. I don't know what to do here. Right. Um, I went to school for accounting, right? I had like an academic, I had several academic scholarships to go to school for accounting. Um, I come from a traditional African family. I'm the first generation to go to school wow. in America from my mom's side okay. so and my dad's side. Right. So it's a lot of pressure that comes with that. Mm -hmm. And we, we're known to take care of each other. So when people bring you, you know, they come together to bring you to America, they expect you to do as best as you can yeah. so that you can go and help other people. Mm -hmm. So they were like, ah, dance life. It sounds like a broke life. I said, no, it's the place to be. <laughs> it's the place to be. Yes. So when I got the opportunity to um, tour with Ludacris and the Black Eyed Peas, I was out. I was I out. know. Oh I got a girl. I right. had a girl. Yes. You know, but what I will say is I'm thankful because, you know, what God has for you mm -hmm. is for yes, you. Absolutely. And if people may not understand and you just really have to trust your gift. Mm -hmm. Um and it took a long time for my family to come back around because they thought that I was being like defiant, mm. which I was. They were absolutely right. <laughs> yes, yes. That's exactly what that thing is. Yes, yes. I had to ignore them. But <laughs> <laughs> thank God for Coachella. Thank God. Right. Yes. Yes. Oh, it is working for you, right? Yes. Okay, won't he? Yes. Yes. Won't he? yes. Thank so you. You've also ventured into the TV and film industry you as should. well, right? Yes. yes, as you should. You're so talented. And you've assisted thank in choreography you. for Star Fox's hit show. Yes. Tell me about that experience and what that's been like it was a gag mm -hmm. absolute gag when, when you get gooped by god it's like what do, to do what yeah. With who lee daniels uh -huh. yeah. Wait, my you got the right number you know i, I, I always gotta double check right. but um i had moved from atlanta to la mm -hmm. and that moved me back to atlanta mm -hmm. and it was this new concept it was a choreography based show it was the same producers as empire and we didn't know what we were getting into but we were so into it like yeah. at the end of the day it, it was a show that touched on so many subjects that I think needed to be brought to life. Right. And dance just kind of softened the blow. Yeah. You know, so it was exciting. I was on that show for about three years behind the scenes and yes. it was just, it was amazing. Good, amazing. good, good yeah. for you. So in 2018, you twirled on your haters. <laughs> yes. yes. And the baton solo uh, at um, Beyonce's performance, during yes. Beyonce's performance. Talk about that experience. Ah. Look, you, look at this. Look, oh look at, God. yes, yes, yes. Girl. yes. It's you, you see, oh, yes. 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 Ah. <laughs> Wow. Oh my God. What did that feel like wow. during Coachella to, to work with one of the, arguably the best entertainer that, that, that this world has ever yes. seen? She's yeah. amazing. And you're front and center. What did that mm -hmm. moment feel like for you? Um, I was, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. It was the first, wow. um, it was something that I hadn't touched since I was 14. I, I tore a baton from five to 14 mm -hmm. um, in the South. And I used to compete for America and mm -hmm. I placed like, when I was 11, I played six internationally, mm -hmm. and like it was something that I wanted to pursue. Um, I wanted to be an Olympian. Yeah. And but I also wanted to go to HBCU, so I was torn. Ah. And then okay. um, dance came in the picture at four, at around 14, 15. I got scouted, mm -hmm. and dance took over my life. So I never got a chance to actually live my baton dream. Right. And then my worlds just collided. And when I auditioned for Beyonce, I did not think that they needed batons. But those things. But look how that gives. Look, 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 look
I was like, and it uh, was perfect. They asked for steppers, and I was just like, here I am with batons. Like, I know they was like this girl. <laughs> what she <laughs> gonna do? Coming in this room? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but, um, but they asked for steppers. I was like, I got batons, and they were like, okay, child. And I twirled for my life, and it was low ceilings, and I just freestyle, and somehow B saw it, and like a week later I got the call. Yes. I was dancing as well, the whole yeah, show. Right. Oh my so, god. And, and you also sing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Tell us a little bit about you just talented all over. Yes. I, I, don't, I don't even understand. It's God. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She's using all your gifts. It's like I a thing. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, come on. Um, tell us yeah. about Ooh. this. Yes. yes. Um, I went to a performing arts high school. I didn't even know I could sing. Yeah. Where'd you I go? Have Where'd you go? Here. The Cap School of the Arts. Oh, that's a great school. Wow. <laughs> we don't get enough funding. Uh, it's whoops. such a shock. Yeah. We're, 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 we were the top in the county for yeah. academics, yes. but we absolutely do not get enough funding as arts kids. But look at you. you uh, you're a product of that, Amazing. that school. And Keep you sing. dreaming. Keep I love that. going. Yes. Stay in school. Yeah. Like, yes. if, I could, if I could do anything again, I would have finished school. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. absolutely. But I will say, pray about it, because uh -huh. it, the, the same opportunity does not come twice. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a little bit more. <laughs> She's going to try to teach us a little baton for the technique yes. when we come back. We're going to see. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are going to have all the ladies join us, but we couldn't let Diddy leave without showing us a glimpse of what the crowd saw at Coachella. So, Diddy, Emma, come on out. What you got for the people down to the circle? Uh oh. Thank you so much, Diddy Emma. Please make sure you follow her at Diddy Emma on Instagram.